This video will help you screen record any classwork from any grade, any assignment. I'm going to be using a slideshow, but you can use this for Tinkercad, Floor Planner, any Google Doc, any video recording that you've done with your robots, any of the assignments in this class, and it uses the same basic idea. So you definitely have to log into WeVideo and click uh, Create to make a new assignment. All right, we're going to work our way through all of the different steps, and then I'll show you how to edit the beginning to, to cut off that first part right as you're getting it all set up and how to cut off the end as you're clicking it off. Edit video, add the music behind it, add an intro and add an ending. So once you have Wii Video up, click on Create. Click Record. Then from here, you're just going to middle screen. Click Allow. You have to let the microphone go through, but then you're gonna change the default here to no audio, okay? So do that quick. Then select the tab, the Google Slideshow that you want. When you click share, it will go here. It's only recording the actual thing, so click Slideshow, that, and then it will run through your slideshow that you want to show. We'll always be able to edit it, like I'll show you here right now. All right, so right here, I have the um, clip that I recorded, but I haven't edited out the beginning or the end to make it nice and clean. For example, if we go and watch it from the very beginning, which is in play, you'll see I don't even have the slideshow up yet. It wouldn't even be until here that I'd actually want to show when I create my intro and my ending. So. What we can do is right here is the zoom. So let's go zoom it in to like maybe 6% or 10%. And we can watch it a little bit slower here. There we go. We don't want that part. So we're going to pause it right there. We can go back a little bit and we can find out exactly where. Yep. So right there, right at this time, if this is selected and the blue line is on it, then I can feel safe to click split. And we'll cut off this first part, which is the part we don't want, where we're setting up the slideshow. And you just hit the backspace button, and it's gone. So now it should be nice and clean. It's just the part that I want to keep from the beginning. Here are all the slides that I wanted to show on my video. Now let's see, thanks for watching. And then I don't want to have that little mouse being moved around there at the end. So I'm going to go back until it's gone. That was me bringing up the mouse to click stop share, right? So let's go back here. Uh, probably about right there. So I'm gonna click split again, delete that end part. And there I have my full clip. If you hold your mouse over it, normally it does say how long it is. But um, let's go ahead and now let's add an intro and an ending. So go to text. There are so many texts here. So you can click see all for titles. You can click see all for captions. There's so many different choices you have. Let's go ahead and let's just check one here from multi-line. Let's just share your message, but you can go, go through all of them and try to find one that you like. A lot of students just click sample text from the beginning. And that one's fine. When you play through, it just shows up and goes away. So let's just do uh, this one here, the multi-line. Drag it down. Sometimes you might have to do insert and push. So this one right away, it looks like it's a few seconds long. So I'm gonna go click and shorten it. There you can see the time. Typically, I think an intro should only be about two seconds long. Let's see if we can change the time there. Eight seconds, perfect. So if you double click on it, I can say, Mr. Bardon, Mr. Bardon, Minecraft. Oh, that's one word. Uh, video. Okay, done. So there I have my intro text. If you click this line, drag it up, it makes it a lot easier to work with. And then we want to have a thanks for watching. I think I actually had it here on my slideshow. Um, you can also just add something, maybe your name. So go ahead, I'm just gonna drag here, put it there, and say, Mr. Barton. 
nice to have my final slide there. And let's shorten that up to two seconds or one. There you go. All right, so let's give this a watch here. So let's video out of Minecraft. So here's all of my classwork that I did. And now I've added my intro and I've added my ending. I actually already had an ending there. Perfect. So now I want to add some background to my uh, two texts here. As you can see, I have this all here on video one. So what I have to do is I have to move my text up to text one. So drag that up to that track, drag that up to this track. And this is where we get layers. So click on backgrounds. You can click like a solid background if you want. I prefer these kind of fun ones. So I'll go ahead and grab this one here. Sometimes they're really long, so you might have to drag it out and then change its size. Shorten it way up. Let's see, how does that look? And actually, I'm going to use Control C. I'm going to use the same background and pop it right here for the end. If it ever says can't fit, then just go ahead and find a little bit more space. You can even transition it in if you want and transition it out. If you want to shorten the transition, you can just click on it. 0.2. Let's give that a watch. Nice. Okay, that's a little too long, so let's make that 0 0.2 as well. Check out that ending one. Perfect. Now it says here, whoops. Now it says here, zoom out. All of this stuff is my actual video that I'm making right now. And all of this stuff is the video example. So let's bring this back down here to 10%. Uh, I also ask for audio. So let's go ahead here and let's click on audio. We can listen to some of the tracks. That sounds nice. Inspiring. Feel good, plucky guitar. Perfect, let's bring that down. First thing you're gonna notice here is that the musics are way too long. Sometimes multiple minutes, so drag that all the way down. And now let's give that a listen to. Oh, I can't hear, oh, I have that muted. So go ahead, you can always adjust the audio track there. Some epic music from Minecraft there. Perfect. And then you can even, if you double click on it, actually not double click, if you zoom in and you click here, show audio levels, you can actually get a, you can add a point there and you can have it slowly get quiet as you end. And you can have it slowly get loud as you start. So click add a new point there and drag that down. Now let's listen to that. Perfect. That's a nice piano there. It's nice. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Come on back over here. And finally, uh, let's add some voice generator. So the one that I really like is called text to voice uh, dot online. I'll have the link on the assignment. And let's see, the first text that I have here, Mr. Bardon's Minecraft video. Mr. Bardon's Minecraft video. Let's do that a listen to here. Uh, let's switch it from to a male voice, maybe Matthew. Oh, I like that. So now click download. It'll pop up here in your downloads. Some of you might pop down there. And let's go here back to Project Bin, click that, drag it over, and let's pop. Oh, I like that. Let's give that a watch. Perfect. That was so good. And now for each one of the texts that you have, go ahead and add one of them. So, how to play Minecraft. You can just like slow it down if you want. Or download that one. Go over into your project bin, downloads, drag it in. And now let's go ahead and add that here. 
that the other one? Yeah, that's not the one I want. But you can hear actually that the audio is a little too loud on that. Let's see. Perfect. Let's put that there in the middle. And let's also, while we're at it, we're gonna drag, drink this volume way down. That was too loud, wasn't it? And then you can just add your uh, voice generator. First, you must find a platform to play it on. Let's download that. Let's see, there it is. And then just keep adding to that. And then when you're all done, click export, connect it to your Google Drive, and then click export. Now this part takes a while while you're letting it go. But what you don't want to do is um, just shut down. Just wait, check it out on your Google Drive, and then insert your video wherever you need it to go.